Go to chapter 16 of one of your books. I think it's the 47th edition. I can't remember where it's simple. You talk about fiscal policy and government budget. How far removed will that be for Chair Yellen from the everyday of the Federal Reserve? Well, the Federal Reserve is not supposed to focus on, uh, on the budget uh, directly because that's not in their remit. Uh, but clearly, it's very important in terms of the ability for monetary policy to do its job and also, particularly in the environment we're in now, where interest rates are near zero and uh, monetary policy is less effective as a result, fiscal poly policy really comes to, to, to the forefront. Uh, Janet understands this very, very well, uh, that uh, she's uh, uh, said the right things, which are, are as follows, which is that there really is a need for, for uh, fiscal expansion right now. Uh, there's also, very importantly, a need for cooperation between uh, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury. Uh, you couldn't get it better than, than Janet uh, interacting with, with Jay Powell, so that's uh, very good. But also, very importantly, which uh, unfortunately our politicians are not doing enough, Janet has emphasized that although right now we need very expansionary fiscal policy, we have to worry about the long-run budget balance. And that's something that, that really neither right. the Republicans or the Democrats have done. But Janet uh, gets it, uh, and uh, uh, she's, she's really a, a terrific person for this job. I couldn't think of a better choice uh, yeah. for this position right now. Professor Michigan, we've gone from Jacob Lew, who I'm going to call a grizzled political wonk out of Massachusetts, to Mr. Mnuchin, who I'm going to call a Wall Street Hollywood type, with Mr. Trump. And now we go to a hardcore academic, something you'd be familiar with. Are we de-Wall Streeting the job? Are we moving Treasury away from Wall Street? In, in this case, I think that's true, but I think the real issue is uh, getting somebody who's competent. It's, it's perfectly reasonable to have a Wall Street person in Treasury if they're if they're really uh, good at understanding policy. Not all, that's not always the case, uh, uh, but it, but one of the things that's key about Janet, she's not just an academic. Uh, th this is somebody who's been involved in policy work for a very very long time. Yes, she was an academic for quite a while. I actually I met Janet when she was an assistant professor at Harvard. Uh, well over 40 years ago, we became friends then. So uh, Janet uh, uh, has been in the trenches in almost all the key policy jobs, uh, that she was uh, a governor of the Federal Reserve, uh, that she was uh, uh, also then a, a president of the Federal Reserve Bank in San Francisco, which is when I interacted with her quite a bit, because I was a governor at the time, and we used to, to meet uh, uh, periodically. Actually, before every FOMC meeting, we'd always have a meeting, either at lunch or dinner together. Uh, and also, the chair, she was the chairman of, a chairperson of the uh, Council of Economic Advisors. She really understands policy. She's been involved in that world now, uh, really uh, very, very seriously at the top levels for 20 years. Uh, and she knows her stuff. And she's also not a, a partisan type person. Uh, Jen and I have some different political views uh, uh, that she's to the left of where I am. But actually, on economics, we really never had any big disagreements. She does the analysis carefully uh, and thinks really hard about it and is super well prepared. Uh, and that's exactly what we re need right now. Uh, clearly, one of the things that's critical right now is to calm everything down, uh, to get some straight thinking on what to do about the coronavirus pandemic and also uh, uh, how we can support the economy during this next period of the next six months or so. Uh, and Janet is extremely highly qualified to do that.